Thank you, Chair Golden and members of the committee. My name for the record is Suzanne Weber, and I represent Senate District 16, Northwest Rural Oregon. I want to thank you for the opportunity to provide testimony in opposition of Senate Bill 85. I will share my concerns with of other fellow legislators, and I will reiterate many of the negative impacts this bill could have on our state's dairy industry and the communities it supports. Tillamook is known as the land of, tre of trees, cheese, and ocean breeze. Our community is known as the dairy lands. Tillamook County is the home of many multi-generational family farms that have been providing high quality milk to consumers for over a century. Let me tell you, wherever I travel, whether it's Georgia, Texas, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, what do I find in the grocery stores? Tillamook products. These farms are a vital part of our state's economy and they rely on a complex regulatory environment to operate successfully. Senate Bill 85 and its pro proposed amendments threaten to add unnecessary regulations to this already complex system, limiting our dairy farmers' ability to succeed and hurting the local communities that rely on them. One of the key provisions of Senate Bill 85 is the limitation on the size of confined animal feeding operations. This will make it more difficult for our dairy farmers to meet the growing demand for milk and other dairy products and could lead to an increased reliance on out-of-state supply. 2% of our population farms, 100% of our population eats. Additionally, the Dash 1 amendment would prevent any existing Tier 2 CAFOs from renewing their permits before the moratorium is lifted and would force many local businesses to close. Those are our supporting industries in all of our areas that would be negatively affected and result in unemployment, shuttered businesses, and displaced families. Oregon's Department of Agriculture and Department of Environmental Quality have a robust permitting process in place to ensure that animal welfare and environmental stewardship requirements are met. Adding more regulations to this process could, could, could create unnecessary burdens and make it even more difficult for our dairy farmers, our rural Oregon, to succeed. Oregon's dairy industry is a critical part of our state's economy, providing billions of dollars in economic impact and supporting countless families and communities. I urge you to join me in opposing Senate Bill 85 and its proposed amendments and supporting our local dairy farmers and the communities they serve and support. Thank you, Chair Golden.